Shout out to Ab and Preach. They also don't need our help. They have uh, 1.7 million uh, followers. And normally, Preach uh, hates cops. And if I grew up where he grew up, I'd probably hate cops too. But he, they covered a really interesting story, and I think they did a really good job. Uh, no, no to whoever titled this because they said cops and women falsely accused YouTuber. They correct it in the video. It was actually a security guard that falsely accused it. Uh, and I'm going to skim through this because it's like a 20-minute video, but it's really hilarious. Uh, situation. Uh, these pranksters who I don't feel any sympathy for, they're kind of fucking dicks for doing. I hate public pranks. Uh, basically, uh, I'll let you see the interaction here. Uh, he's cutting in line. Why'd you cut the line? Huh? Why'd you cut the line? I'm talking to my cousin. No, I'm you, not going on a ride. No, I watched you though. You cut the whole line. So he goes out of his way to harass this chick about cutting in the line, whether they actually cut in line or not. Doesn't matter. Um, He's a real dick about it. And he's being a troll, so it is what it is. Uh, I have no sympathy for people that do public troll stuff like this because you have random innocent people that don't want to be part of your stupid pranks. Making a skit, it's one thing, but this is really uncalled for, and he, this guy's a fucking asshole for it. Steph, I don't feel bad for him. If he wants to come at me, I don't give a shit. However, I will say this. Uh, there was an interesting thing that occurred after this. I'm going to see if I can skim by some of this stuff. They then get approached by a security officer that works at this place, and this interaction was hella sketchy. Control. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, the victim didn't really take it off. The I victim. Too. What? They said, uh, yeah, you guys grabbed her. You got a camera. That's why I'm thinking that camera. Ah. We yeah. grabbed her? Whoa, whoa. Who? We're going to go take you guys back so she can see if she can identify you, and then we got SPD coming too. So Whoa. we're just going to. Uh, what are you talking? Who did we grab? I just got the report. So uh, just, this just got this just got blew way out of proportion, yo. Grab. Blew out of proportion. Were you there? Talking about sexual. Who did we grab? We don't even did know you? what you're. We don't even okay. know who you're talking about. That's fun. You fit the description. Are you a cop? No, I'm not a cop. All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> Wise decision. Uh, they cannot detain you. Security cannot detain you for anything. They can ask you to leave, and they can like make sure that you leave or whatever. Or again, call and complain. But uh, armed or not armed, really, like security can't make you do shit. They can't detain you. They can't do any of that stuff. Uh, I know they try to do it, but in most states, uh, this is not going to be considered kosher. Uh, the false accusation of a sexual assault is lobbied. I don't know whether the chick called and complained and said there was a sexual assault. It's not clear in this video. But this guy then proceeds um, to, like, kind of walk with them sheepishly. It's a very weird deal, but I'll let you watch a little bit more of this. This is going to trigger every cop on the planet knowing that this guy's only a security guard. I don't have to wait for anything. Are we under arrest? No, but you're not going to see your girls on five park. So. Yeah, we're so we'll park. leave the park then. I'm not staying here with people like accusing us of What did we do? We're going to bring you up to the front and then we get the person to come see if they can identify you. Which way's the exit? Is that, is that the exit? Where's the exit? He said, this way's the exit. No bitch, it ain't. No bitch, it ain't. No bitch, it ain't. <laughs> and you work security. No, you're not, you're not a, a cop. cop. You got a gun, but you're security. Yeah, you try to... Shout out, because they're 100% right on this. I like their take. What about you, Dan? All I asked you guys is to hold on so we can sit here and get this description. No, I'm not. Can't ask people to hold on so we can get a description. There's no reason to get a description unless it was a crime that occurred. And if a crime occurred, police should be involved, not security. I'm not holding on for anybody. Yeah, she grabbed. Dude, she touched so now, us. So now you were there. You just said you didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, we did. He acted like that was a real gotcha moment. He's like, literally, she verbally admitted to you that she grabbed us. And they agreed that she grabbed us. And he's like, so you were there. Like, you missed the point that there's no criminal offense there. And if at anything, they're your victim, not this chick. As much as I hate this fucking turd of a kid, because I hate prank videos, technically from the League of the Lord of the Law, he's the only victim you really have. Just because she complained about something doesn't mean that she's a victim of the crime. And he's over here acting like, zinger, gotcha. I hate this fucking attitude. Because it ends up... You end up having to involve police eventually. We were there. We didn't grab anybody. It's all on camera. Detective. Dude, why are you so mad? Because you're walking away from me. You yeah. guys just admitted you were there. We're not under arrest, so I don't need to listen to you. We didn't do anything. We didn't do shit. He says, you're walking away from me. I'm allowed to walk away from you. Like, I'm a free person unless there's an, there's an investigation that occurs and so on and so forth. Still covering these guys 110%. They could run away from him and I'd be perfectly okay with it. Why run when this is epic content? <laughs> Producer Juan with the big brain ideas here. He's like, no, 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 fucking walk it out. I want to see where this goes. I did think it's weird that they're trying to detain him. I kind of understand they have to do something, but I would just ask them to leave. 
understand the limitations of your authority. Ask them to leave. If they don't want to leave or they refuse to leave, call PD, go do whatever. And if they start uh, harassing or assaulting other people, now you're covered just like anybody under the defense of a third person that you're preventing a crime from occurring. You'll be basically de facto good Samaritan clause covered by any actions that you're going to have. Really fucking stupid. Uh, let's see. Loss prevention can detain in most states. Great overlord. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, loss prevention in Texas, at the very least, couldn't detain. You can, like, ask them to, but, like, forcibly detain them. There's going to be a lot of um, stores that aren't going to allow the policy to make them detain because there's a lot of liability in detaining somebody physically. Because if they get injured, you're open up to lawsuits and all that kind of stuff in the state holds insurance policies that if we do something that ends up being unjust, that liability falls onto the state, not the individual doing it. So it's really a liability thing. So it's a lot more complicated than just, I have the ability to do it. Policy oftentimes is going to dictate that they're going to have you be really hands off because they don't want to be sued uh, for all that kind of stuff. So they let police officers do it because they can sue the shit out of us and the city can, and the state can afford it. Oh, we literally have it all on video. Okay, well then you have nothing to worry about. Why can't you just resolve it then? I'm not staying here to explain a situation that we didn't do anything wrong. They brought backup too. You can't just say we did something based off of a report. We didn't do shit. Based on a report, you're no, you just gonna can't. believe them? You denied you were even there, and then you said you were there, and she grabbed you. Doesn't matter. This is not an investigation. This is not a police investigation. Just, you're not cross-examining somebody here. Like, I don't... I don't get it. We have the entire thing on camera. That's that's the funny part. What are you doing? Why is there three of them? You guys brought out the whole Avengers for this. So, why don't we not? If you're innocent, then I'll tell you what. Why don't we not? Shut the hell up. You're not getting front of the line pass. You accused us of sexual assault. Why don't you want to talk? Now you're not. Now you're gonna apologize. <laughs> I've been trying to hold them on the premises this whole time. Says, oh no, let me open the door and escort you out. Just. Oh yeah, this is extra shitty, extra spy. I'm team, I'm team Abba on this one. It's to give a little last one. So then the police department gets involved because security decided to call and say that an assault had occurred. And check out what this officer does. We have the whole thing on camera. We didn't do anything. Okay. And I don't know much. I'm just trying to look into it, trying to get both sides of the story too. You're worried about recording. Everything's recording right here as well. Are we under arrest or? No, we're just being. So we can leave. We can leave then. Being detained for you to look into something. Uh which is correct. He was not under arrest. He was being detained. Shout out to that officer for fucking knowing the difference. Um, not shout out for Bill is here. This guy's got a little, he don't miss a meal. He stays thick with two C's. However, he knows what the fuck he's doing. Shout out to that. Also this like sheepishly hanging out security guard. I have no, I have no respect for shout out retro. Here's your homies. <laughs> okay. Want to get rough like that. I'm not getting, I'm long. not getting yeah, rough. Right? You have an ID with you. Yeah. Break it out. Why are we being detained? We're looking into something. Okay. All right, listen, no, if you're suspected of something, this case, you can't just walk away. No, in All this right. case, you, the police there, give the ID. It's coming from Preach. Shout out to Preach because he hates the police, but he's like, no, in this situation, like, don't be a dumbass. Shout out to them for being humongous influencers and actually giving a good take on a police investigation. I fucking love to see it. Break, like, out, break out the ID. They, you haven't done anything I understand. Very fucking frustrated. Although you're being... Under investigation, you're not being detained. Was, well, then they give a really good take on this, but check out this officer results. Go to jail if you'd like. If you're not going to identify yourself, it's I'll not identify good. myself, but like okay. I'm confused. All right, all right. Yeah. Difficult. That's fine. We can do that. I'm not trying okay. to be difficult. I'm really not. Okay. And you don't have an ID on you at all. Okay. What about you? He's deaf. He's deaf. Let me grab time. Nothing of that. Not sure. You to arise and us being here. I'm genuinely like confused at what situation, because like. Uh, yeah, you guys grabbed her. Oh, we didn't say anything like sexual or anything. Yeah. Okay. I asked her why what, she what, cut what, the yeah, line. What, I said, what, why'd what, you cut the line? What's the that we've got? Because he said that we touched somebody and we. That's what he, the head of security, said. And we did not put hands on anybody. Again, I'm coming into this mm -hmm. at the end here, trying mm -hmm. to sort it out. In all this. In all this shit, the cop is the right one to me. In all this shit, the cop is really trying to fucking level. He's just, I'm just trying to know what the fuck is going on. Anyway, shout out to Abin Preach. I'm not going to make you guys watch the rest of this. The officer realizes that there wasn't an offense and cuts the fucking kids loose. Shout out to that officer understanding that he did a thorough investigation, did what he was supposed to do. And then secondly, I want to give a huge shout out to Abin Preach for actually covering this 
as influencers uh, in a very pretty fair and impartial way. So it makes me proud as someone that comes on here and does this type of stuff to have that. So there's a lot of influencers that'll shortcut this thing. I will give a big negative no-no though, like I said, for the cops and women falsely accuse uh, the YouTuber. The police officer didn't accuse anybody. The dumb rent-a-cop did though. So they just put rent-a-cop, I'll bless it, uh, and say that. But shout out to them. It's a really funny channel. Go. They don't need any help with subscribers, but it's really funny. I thought it was a really good episode. We're gonna keep going.